Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families, responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in, in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout, shout aloud. aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our, and our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world.
Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made, made in God's, God's image, befriended, befriended by Christ, empowered, empowered by, by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we, we affirm, affirm God's, God's goodness at the heart of humanity, humanity planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Praise in the highest heaven, the one who made the earth. Praise God's wonderful deeds. Praise God's excellent greatness. Praise God with the blast of the trumpet and the strumming of the guitar. Praise God with rhythm and dancing, fiddles, drums and flutes. Praise God with clanging cymbals, the louder they clash, the better. Let everything that breathes praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Romans chapter 1, reading verses 8 to 17. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. For God, whom I serve with my spirit by announcing the gospel of his Son, is my witness that without ceasing I remember you always in my prayers, asking that by God's will I may somehow at last succeed in coming to you. For I am longing to see you so that I may share with you some spiritual gift to strengthen you, or rather, so that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented in order that I may reap some harvest among you, as I have among the rest of the Gentiles. I am a debtor both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish. Hence my eagerness to proclaim the gospel to you also who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, Thanks be to God.
Lent is not for the faint-hearted. It demands that we, like Thomas, put our hand into the side of the crucified Christ. Lent is a journey towards the cross, a journey of enlightenment from wilderness to feast, from desert to oasis. It's an attempt to identify with the powerless and the suffering in the world. Lent is not tidy. The days grow longer. The ground thaws. There's mud and dirt everywhere and the windows need cleaning. Lent is a journey. So at the end of Lent, we should expect to find ourselves somewhere different from where we started. Lent can be an opportunity to explore what is the nature of the promised kingdom of God on earth that we long for. A time to discern how we are called to work for it. No, Lent is not for the faint-hearted. On the 24th day, we pray for family groups, the far-flung members network, former members and associate members, the Iona community regions, the Indian Ocean Islands, Maldives, Seychelles, Diego Garcia, Mauritius, Comoros, Madagascar. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of London, Alex Claire Young and Joe Claire Young. Andrew Dart and Barbara with Karen Murray, Chris Gidden, Case Grant, Jane Hodges and Bob Gilbert with Matthew and Thomas, Pat Livingston, Tom Osborne and Lorna, Kaz Reeves, Chloe Turner, Ricky Turner with Jacob, Meg Rowe and Martin. And we pray for associate members in England Southwest. Walk with them today, O God. 
and keep us on your way. O Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands. We are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and every church decay, we, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one. 